Hey dude, hey. so before I start the review, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our action figures. It's a subreddit, uh, you know, it's a safe place for us geeks and nerds that collect this shit. And they let me post my videos there, so I definitely appreciate that. So let's get the review started and hope that it doesn't suck. But today I will review the Hot Toys DX13 T800 Battle Damage Terminator from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, DX stands for Deluxe because you get a lot of accessories. So let me talk about the packaging first and then I will move on to the figure itself. Okay, so here's the packaging. I uh, would use the tripod, but I'm missing a piece that connects the, the tripod to the camera, so let's just uh, freehand this. This is the packaging. You have Sideshow, Hot Toys, all that good stuff. Bullet holes, that's pretty cool. It's, like a, it's made out of like a fake leather, kind of like what some books are made out of. Holes that punctures through. There's like some red stain, look like blood. Pretty cool. Now it's a magnetically closed by these two magnetic dots. They're like buttons. Okay, gee, this is where it gets stuff. Oh god. Okay. So yeah, there's some words from the movie. Uh, you know, a line from the end of the movie here. It says, Now I now know why you cried, something I can never do. He says that towards the end to the little kid. You get this little, I don't know what this is even supposed to be. It's like a little piece of leather. Some, fuck, that is so bad, Jesus. Okay. And since injuries, the data could be called pain. All that for that one fucking line. All right, then everything is sort of sealed in here. It was packaged very good. I bought this from a guy off Facebook in a 1-6 scale group. So that was really sweet that that happened. Boom, you get the T-100, uh, it's wrapped in this. You can kind of... Christ. There's poses you can do, the head is movable, that's very cool. You also get a sculpt of the actor who plays it. It doesn't look that great, actually, I won't ever use that. And you can, I'll show you later, you can pop off the hand and put it through so you can, like, redo that scene from the movie. There's felt on the bottom of it, so it sits pretty smooth on like glass cabinets. So the figure would be here, but he's standing right there. You get the other Arnold head sculpt. You get instructions, because there are some very cool features with this figure, like Hot Toys does some really awesome things with their figures. But I didn't read that. And you also get a cloth to wipe down the figure because this thing gets a lot of fingerprints, I'm guessing. Kind of. So yeah. So let me move these pieces. Okay, here's a better look at the packaging. So the figure would have been here. Two heads. The T100, aka the liquid one, would have been placed here, like I showed earlier. So you would remove this cardboard piece. Revealing the figure and hands, as well as extra pegs. The thumbs up hand is right there. Then you would take this off, revealing where the base and the cradle would have been located. And more accessories, which I will get into detail in a second. And yeah, they, you get a lot of cool things with this, this piece. So let's actually talk about the accessories next. Okay, so here he is, the T-800, but first we're going to look at the accessories that he comes with. So, you have the grenade launcher, which is very cool, because you can, like, uh, open it up, cock it, and there is a shell in there. It's one of those grenade shells that's actually inside. I'm not going to take it out because I'm lazy. So, let's look at the other accessories. You got, uh, what is that, seven hands there, including this hand, so eight total. Okay, and the hands are very cool. They have, like, this robotic, fleshy, bloody effect on all of them. You got the little pistol, which is, has a, I mean, it can sort of, like, move that lever there. That's pretty cool. You also get this pistol that goes back, and the magazine is removable. Pretty cool. M16. Okay, you get this M16 type gun. I'm not really a gun guy, so I don't know what it's actually called, but pretty cool. The magazine has to stay inside, but you get this adjustable strap for when you want to put it on the body. You get wrist pegs in case you fuck up and break your wrist pegs that it comes with. 
You got an alternate arm for when you don't want to pose this like spaghetti robot arm. You got the alternate head sculpt, which I don't like as much, but it's still really, really good. Okay, so here's the other head sculpt. Uh, it looks it looks good for sure. I just don't want to put it on because it's like literally just Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's I want something a little bit more robotic looking. And the eyes, if you move this thing, so look. His eyes are like staring right at you, but if you move that lever, he's looking more to the right. See that? Oh, that looked pretty creepy. Yeah, and then, uh, whoa. Some more shots of the head. Um, you get this little drumstick thing that moves the the left eye in this head sculpt which um, I'll show you that the eyes move in these figures is very cool and the steel like staff very cool I'm gonna pose with that next this like it's always cool when a character has a staff and you also get the base Terminator T100 T800 DX and you get the shiny guy the T100 so yeah let's let's look at the figure next and here's the jacket where both arms are intact. You see, someone's ripped. And someone uh, has both arms, and it has a lot of bullet holes, which I think is super cool. There's like red, uh, sort of like you can kind of see the glaze. It's like blood. Pretty cool. It's nice attention to detail. And the other piece is this, uh, the T100 sculpt. Okay, so here's the T-800, right? And he looks extremely badass. I mean, just Hot Toys does a fantastic job on all the blood, all the scratches, all the bullet holes. It's really incredible, all the small details on this figure. And he looks fantastic, even without the uh, light effect on, without his little red dot there, which I don't think would be the same as, let's say, an Iron Man figure. I think he would look like a dead husk. Um with his lights off because that's you know that's one of the main I guess as far as the figures go that's one of the main reasons that the figure looks so great is because the light is on and it makes the character look alive but with the Terminator I mean you can pop off the back of his head it's magnetized as you see there flip up the switch and now his light is off but I mean the figure still looks incredibly badass and that's just, I mean, that's just my opinion, but it might as well be a fact because it's the truth. Unless you're a big Terminator hater. <laughs> that actually rhymed. Okay, so, yeah, the reason I don't get Iron Man or any of the Marvel characters is because those characters change every film. They're not going to be as iconic as the Terminator is. It's just, I don't know. I don't think it's a good use of my money if I'm going to buy a figure and he'll look different within a year. But this figure, I'm I'm glad I got it. It was my favorite movie as a kid, and I rewatched it, like I mentioned before, um, very recently. And God, it's still really badass and funny. Uh, the Terminator, he's kind of like a Disney character, uh, the way he's so oblivious. Uh, but it's also like a scary fucking horror film when like the T100's liquid finger just, like, can become a knife. That scared the shit out of me as a kid. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite figure in my collection. They just did a super duper job. Now, he's definitely my favorite, and the character itself means a lot to me. I think he's super cool, but the next coolest figure I have might be this, this guy, the DX-12 uh, Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. He got him for a super, super good deal. Now, I'm not necessarily a fan of this Batman, but I think the figure is really 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 well done so expect a review of him next but for the meantime um, you know if you're on the fence about getting this figure definitely get it he's super super well done and you won't regret it so yeah uh, if you could like this video that'd be great if you would subscribe that would be even better and uh, you know if you didn't fucking like it dude I understand like this is a pretty weak setup like holy shit Jeez.